Hey guys, and welcome back to season 16 of AOR. This time we we're in Hungary for round 12, and as you can see, it's raining, and it's actually my first time driving in the wet on this game, so I'm not too optimistic. As you can see, I'm already in P18, but hopefully, I can improve. But even though I'm in last place, do not uh, let that fool you because this race. It's gonna be one of the craziest races I've ever taken part of. So, uh, so stay tuned for, for what happens in the race. But let's get back to qualifying. And as you can see, how I did not get a uh, corner cut warning, I do not know, but I'm really, really struggling in this game, but uh, uh, on the wet uh, side of things. But it is gonna be a dry race. So uh, I'm on a complete dry setup, you know, no alterations whatsoever. So that's why I'm struggling even more than probably if I'd gone for like a direct wet setup. But um, I've just been struggling to like hook up my lap. I think like if I just could, I think I did three laps before. If I could combine them, then I'd probably be like maybe P13 or something like that, uh, maybe P12. But I just simply can't, you know, st string the lap together. So as you can see with the mistake I made in the first sector, it's going to be very difficult to to get anywhere up the field. But we're still like improving because the track has been getting better throughout the session. And some people may have bought it just like myself or set their times early. So hopefully we can we can jump a few people when we get across the line. And while we are looking at like a second improvement, maybe a little bit more, if we get a good traction out of here, we do get an okay one. It's going to be around a second. And it's going to put us in P17 for the race. But uh, hopefully that will work. And uh, I'll see you in the race. And here we are on the grid in P17. As you can see, I'm on the mediums, but uh, all the guys ahead of me are on the soft, so that's gonna be interesting for the start. Obviously, I'm gonna get a worse start than them, uh, just because I'm on the worst tire and because I'm probably the worst starter in this game. Uh, but it, it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna take it easy into turn one. There's really too much to gain for us, as we're just gonna try and sit out this stint, and then, you know, the race will come to us later when we go on the soft tires permitted as he's gone a little bit wide, so we are now on his outside heading into turn uh, three here. Can oh, there's been collisions between a Mercedes, a Haas, and a oh, Visualize just liked it a little bit. As we now go on his inside, that was a bit nervy, I must say. As we're now on his outside, but we're just going to let him through, because uh, I don't want to go side by side so far. As you can see, Stewie, I think, has already probably done the same, gone side by side and then been pushed off. And uh, we are now in P16, so we gained two positions. As another car just went, was a Sebro who spinned it a Maestro, I think. Uh, one of the houses there who's uh, waiting up or maybe crashed into him, I don't know. So we're now in P14. As you can see, sometimes it's, it pays off to be patient. As that was on Carnage to start the race, I must say. As we now put on to lap 3. Um, and uh, as you can see, Sturry has now already caught us uh, from obviously in, you know, going wide there on, on uh, lap 1. He now goes up the inside, he's on the soft tires, but we try and stay on his outside. It's going to be difficult because he does have better traction as we now just going to, uh, you know, follow him through. As we just have a little bit of contact, maybe. No, we and he spun and we've hit our front wing. What on earth just happened? We've got midget on our left. The what, what the fuck? I swear there was no contact on my screen. Like, I felt okay, nothing. Clear. Obviously, I apologize to Stuart, Stuart for passing room in his race and now also damaging my own front wing. So, anything is going to be difficult now with that. There was no contact on my screen and it seemed like we just got stuck on each other. Very similar to the side pass switch of death from like 2016. Has uh, now caught on to lap 5. And Stuart's actually already caught us. So, I mean, he's lost out, no doubt, but not too much. We've got Maestro, I think, behind him as well, who's. Who, He's itching to get through and now they are side by side as they're just being held up by me because I'm out here on the mediums plus I have that orange yellowish front wing so I mean they just want to get through as I'm just holding them up completely here as I can just get a bad, bad exit to, to say the least as I think Stewie's probably going to have a good run on me and indeed he's already side by side with us uh, halfway down the straight so it's going to be easy for him try and see if we can make a switch back but i just saw the red arrow from maestro then i decided not to to go for it because i was afraid i might hit him but now he's uh, on our outside here as we try and hug the inside line as much as we can but we naturally drift right because of the front wing as we just give him enough space on the inside this is actually good battling and we cut off uh, cut him off there and then uh, we gain the position uh, for turn five so, so there's some good battling with maestro there 
actually, but uh, I mean, he's gonna get through eventually. As I've actually gone wide, and now he's already on our inside, and there isn't really any point in fighting him too much. Because, I mean, I'm just holding him up, and, you know, not holding myself up, because I'm going pretty slowly as well. But no one really gains anything from that, as you can see. I am struggling a bit with the front wing, but there's nothing I can do, because you only get one set of mediums. So obviously I can't pit onto them again, so I'll have to stick it out. Now cut onto lap 10. I think there's been a crash up ahead, it seems. Yeah, that's a um, Mercedes, which just absolutely binned in the wall. So that's given us another position. We are into P15. Um, as uh, we now cut onto lap 17. And uh, as you can see, we've uh, been passed by Stewie. And I think we've already... I'm not showing this, but we've been passed by like... Uh, I think Giant and Nicole and maybe another guy, you know, because they pitted and I'll come out and a lot faster than us. We just had a bad exit and that leaves Visualize the opportunity to, atta to attack and he seizes it going down our inside but we try and stay around the outside and trying to see because obviously it turns to the inside now. Can we keep him at bay? No, we can't. And we've got Maestro as well who's going really fast on that corner and he's, oh, and he's past us as well. That was a bit annoying, I just didn't have the balls to block off Meister there because it could have ended in a in a crash had it gone badly, but um, it, it doesn't uh, look good right now because we are in P16 and we haven't pitted and everyone else in front of us has pitted, uh, but that's just how it is. We pitted for the soft tires, I fitted, I uh, fitted, but I fitted a new front wing, yeah, and I'm just going to try and see if I can, you know, hunt down someone. Obviously it's going to be tricky, but you never know what happens in a race. Um, as we now cut on to lap 25, not much has happened to be honest. Uh, we're just, you know, we're putting a good lap time for me at least. Uh, but oh my god, the safety cars come out! The safety, the safety cars come out, that's fucking genius for us. Because obviously, we're gonna be on the soft tires anyway, so we're gonna have a good opportunity actually right now uh, to, to make some moves. Uh, so that's gonna be great. Um, and boom, I got a drive through penalty and you're probably thinking, geez, why on earth are you so stupid? And I'm thinking that myself. Uh, but there are two things. One thing, I've not been playing this game for so long, I forgot about the Delta a little bit. And my mom came in the room exactly as, you know, the safety car came out. So I was actually looking at her and talking to her, so I didn't really look at the screen and then I got the penalty. Uh, so that's fucking stupid. So obviously I decided to hang back a little bit for the restart because I didn't want to get in amongst it when, you know, so there's already been a, there's already been a crash. Oh, that's a Force India and a Haas and a thing of four hours. It's just have been complete crashes there. We're up into P12. I mean, what was that all about? Just, you know, I think it's Force India and a Haas just going straight across the track. That was quite an insight. Don't we really know how could that have happened so soon? Like someone must basically have tried to pass instantly and they, you know, must have banged wheels or something. That's a bit, a uh, bit of a weird place to crash and that's obviously ruined. I think maybe not Giant. Giant still hang in there with some front wing damage, but mm -hmm. don't know if it was, if it was, it was Maestro and Nicole or whoever it was who, who crashed. I'm not really too sure. As we now got Minty who's been off as well. So we get another okay, position. Clear. Uh, I mean, if I didn't have this penalty, it would look really, really good, actually. You but, you know, that's just how it is. As we've got... Oh, we've got a Haas there and a Williams as well. I mean, everyone is just crashing around me. Like, at some point, I'm going to be in P1 if this continues. But um, we're up into P9, obviously still with the penalty to serve, which is a bit annoying, because now we would probably have had points, giving everything that's happened, uh, you know. Uh, but... Um, I'm going to serve the uh, drive through this lap and uh, hopefully something else can happen but uh, you never know. I mean if it depends on where I come out. Now Giant decided to stay out so his uh, issues can't be that great and who else stays out? Minty stayed out as well in P10 but I'm in P11 right now so unless Humperdinck passes us while I'm in the pits here there is still a little bit of a chance that I could get points obviously if someone crashes because everyone's bunched up still so there is a chance that someone is going to bin it uh, and I'm just going to have my fingers crossed that that's going to happen even though obviously it's a bit bad to wish you know bad fortune on, on a lot of people but as you can see now there is I think it's a Mercedes in the pits is that Zebra who's had a crash with someone I think it is yes indeed and we pass into P10 and bearing any issues from ourselves, I think we might be looking at a singular point, you know, to add to our low, low points tally. And indeed, nothing happened. And I managed to score 
uh, apart, you know, by no means uh, was it the effort by me that gave me that part. That was just everyone else, you know, fucking crashing and and stuff like that. Even though I could have had, you know, a much better race had I not, you know, damaged my front wing and and obviously gotten a drive through. But I'm really happy to to get the point. Um, but it is it's just like my pace has disappeared after leaving the game for so long. Uh, so I'm not really sure where this leaves us leaves me where well. I'm not gonna like try and see if I can get a spot in F6. So I'm just gonna ride out this season. I don't really know because because I am actually like like so much slower than everyone else. But I mean that's enough down talk. You know congratulations to to Jack on the win. Uh, you know he's looking to to wrap up this championship soon and and, and it's good that Stewart got second place after I. I took him out uh, early on, but that's going to be it for me, guys. You know, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time for Belgium. I can record.